Welcome back guys. First things first, tomorrow is Christmas. So Merry Christmas to everyone. I want to thank everyone for joining this channel in the last few months. I hope for next year that it's going to be just as awesome as this year. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe. It really helps me out. But without further ado, as you all can see, we are back with another Fallout 76 build video. And this one, it is one of my favorite builds so far. I have a break from building at Starlight Drive-In. It gives me a lot of headaches at this point. The most of the structures are ready, but um, I need to do the decorations and the rocket ship is halfway done. But still try to find the right pieces for it. So now you are up to date with the Starlight Drive-In build and let's go back into 76. I love this structure and I love that it is between those two existing structures. The location where I built this structure is uh, just west of uh, Somerville. We start off by the vending machines and it fits in nicely. I try to place them on top of the trailer. Yeah, they fit on there, but because the trailer isn't level, so it looks a bit awkward. So it wasn't really working for me, but maybe for you guys it will work. Place the storage box next to it and on the other side I placed an old couch with a sleeping bag on top of it. If you need to take a rest, be my guest. Alright, let's go upstairs. Over here you got a lovely area to hang out. Behind it I placed some storage boxes and some more decorating items. You're gonna see that a lot in this build. So we start off by the living room, with a few couches and a few posters on the wall gives it a nice feeling. The more storage boxes you place in here the better it is. It feels less open even thought we got fewer items in the game than Fallout 4. Hold on, I forgot to close this door. The kitchen area itself, we finally got some nice sink that really works with the rest of the items in the game. I placed a lot of small plants, uh, otherwise it was feeling too empty. This is the view from the kitchen, not really spectacular. On the other side, next to the living room, you got an awesome place to hang out by the fireplace. Or even to play some music on the guitar. You see me not using too much wallpapers. Uh, I personally think that they are too clean. I try to fit in some here and there. We go into the workshop for a moment. If you all paid attention from the outside of the structure, you did see that I used for this part a single roof piece. Not sure what they are called, but it is the ones that are not flat. Um, and from the inside, there was too much smoke coming out from the fireplace, so I used a flat piece underneath it. Okay, let's go to the bedroom. I have a nice closet with my Nuka shine and some Christmas presents. Use many storage boxes again. For this part I used wallpapers. The ones that I used are cleanish but not too bright. And you got an okay view from your bedroom. And you see that I have used two inside walls uh, stacking up to each other. I find out that it is possible and that it looks really cool. Over here is the bathroom. Still not much items in the game to work with, but we will get in there. If you take a dump, you get a nice view and you can wave to your friends. Because we got no curtains in this game. We are outside again and we are going to take a look at the garage. <clears throat> I tried to make a path from the road to the garage and I think it turns out great. In the garage itself you got some workbenches and some more junk decorations. Like the storage boxes and the plants and some more stuff. But the part that I like the most is the man cave, the play area. Just a place to hang out with your friends and maybe with your family. 
Over here I got a cool new fireplace. But take a look at the wall. With all the different posters and the paintings and stuff like that. And on the background I use a new wallpaper. But I don't use too much otherwise it's going to look too clean. I finally found the use for the ugly floor pieces. And they are fitting nice in here. Once again, Merry Christmas to you all. I hope that you will have a wonderful time with friends and with family. And I hope to see you all in the next year.